Remember the other day I talked about you versus you? And I started going to tell you a story about one of my clients, and then it totally, like, my brain took over and I started talking about something else. It was valuable and it needed to come out at that time, so I let it roll. Uh, but let's let's visit back to that. So I think I think the example was uh, set up set a, a pull up record and run a marathon. Now there, there's some that's similar because there's some component that's similar. I said that already, but it's impossible to do your best in both because sometimes the amount of time it takes you to practice to do pull ups all the time and all the auxiliary work and, and just practice and getting better at that. It takes away from being able to do that. So that's why often we say that you can't gain weight and lose body fat at the same time indefinitely. Now at the beginning, absolutely it'll happen because your body is low, lower than it needs to be already or it should be with, with muscle. So it automatically it's going to get into the level where it should be. Uh, it, it's at the point where it's sort of maxed at where you are currently and your body fat's come down that it might seem like you can't do both at the same time. And this is where we are. There's that argument of going into seasons, like the bulking season, the cutting season. That's what a lot of bodybuilders do. Now, a lot of us believe that if you do it, f you can do it much more slowly over a long period of time and recomposition your body, and there might be some benefits with that. But f in order to see the quickest results and the most intense results, you need to sort of focus on the one that's most important for you and for whatever reason that might be. So you can get somewhere with doing both. You can lose body fat and gain muscle at the same time. Uh, quicker at the beginning, but as you get closer to where you want to go, it's going to take longer and longer and longer. Uh, and that's not a problem. I mean, if you're okay with indefinitely moving towards that, then, then great. And I think that's good. And I actually recommend that for most people. But if your goal is to like be ready by a certain day for vacation, you can't do both. It's almost impossible to do both, uh, to maximize both. I really should say maximize. So I think when I was speaking to this, this client, the idea of you can't chase two rabbits at the same time. And I had said to her, I mean, don't chase two rabbits at the same time. And I don't know where that came from. I'm sure it's some sort of a fable or some sort of proverb from somewhere. But the idea is that you can chase them both and maybe at the beginning they're both running in the same direction but at some point one's going to go this way one's going to go that way and you have to decide which one you're going to go after because if you try to still continue to go both of them you're going to lose both of them right so you want to figure out a way that you that the one that is more important to you and go down that route and focus on that so when you're sitting there and you're saying okay i want to be able to set the the world record for the most amount of marathons run in a, a year and over here you're trying to um, set. You're trying to be the first person to lift over 2,000 pounds in a squat, bench, and deadlift. I don't know. These are not compatible with each other. You need to figure out which one you rather do, and by by that you figure out which one meets more of your needs. Why you want to achieve one or the other? What's going to be the one that you can focus the most on based on your situation? You got to go through the points and figure out what you need to put most of your effort behind. It doesn't mean that you can't chase both, but one of them has to be the most important thing. So if we're looking at like uh, becoming a runner as well as, as gaining muscle, it's possible. But the more you run, the less muscle you'll be able to gain at once and vice versa. Okay, so you want to pick, is it running or is it uh, gaining muscle for this particular season or for this particular reason? Um, and, and once you figure that out, you probably know which rabbit to chase. Thank you.